We are now in Rome, the eternal city. I'm here with Father Pasco, and we're way outside the friary. We're happy to be here, blessed. And this is the St. John Lateran Basilica. And so, Father, you know, tell us a little bit about that, man. Well, the Lateran was the original church, or it is the church of the Holy Father, of the Pope, the Bishop of Rome, and this is where he gets installed. So when Fra St. Francis came to see Innocent III, he was living here. And that's, and until they built the Vatican, yeah. this is their home. Right next to me is a statue of St. Francis of Assisi and his early followers. In the year 1209, St. Francis was seeking approval to start a new order, which would be called the Friars Minor. So he went to Rome to uh, speak with Pope Innocent III. At that time, the Pope was a little reluctant to allow this new group to form. So he gave him temporary approval. However, while the Pope was sleeping one night, he had a dream. And he saw that the Lateran Basilica over there was kind of falling down. And that there was a, a young, vibrant little man there and holding it up. And this was St. Francis. So after that, Pope Innocent III, the third knew immediately that this order was to play an important role in supporting the papacy and the church. And so then he approved the order. And the rest is history. We're at the Church of the Holy Cross. This is right down the street from the Lateran Basilica. And inside here is some amazing, astounding things. You got a relic of the true cross, you know, a long piece there. Finger of St. Thomas, a, a actual thorn from the real crown of thorns of Jesus. You no, know, and then the, the, the wooden tablet that Pilate inscribed, Jesus, King of the Jews. Right, so a lot of times when we have crosses in our house or church, it yeah. just says I-N-R-I. Yeah. But the real one, as we know from the gospel, had, had Greek, Latin, and uh, Hebrew. Uh -huh. And it was actually in reverse based on Hebrew. So uh -huh. you, you see that, it's, it's amazing to see these, uh -huh. these relics of the cross of the Passion. Yeah. So we're on our way walking to the Basilica of St. Mary Major. We came across the Basilica of St. Clement. In back of me is the Basilica of St. Mary Major. It is one of four papal basilicas and also one of seven major pilgrim basilicas.
back of me is the Church of St. Bonaventure. And inside this church is the body of St. Leonard of Port Maurice, who is my patron. I am so excited to go inside, haven't been in there yet. But St. Leonard, of course, he's a Franciscan, a true son of St. Francis, very devoted to the passion of the Lord. He was born December uh, 20th, 1676, died November uh, 26, 1751. And St. Leonard spent most of his ministry speaking and preaching about the way of the cross because he knew that there was so much love that Jesus poured out for us during his passion and suffering. And St. Leonard, he did parish missions most of his life as well, always erecting little stations, what you call little shrines. In every church he did a mission in. So he is the patron saint of parish missions. He is my patron, so excited to go in. Let's go. I'm inside the cell or room where St. Leonard, my patron, lived. I feel so blessed. St. Leonard, pray for us. There he is right there. That's how we look. Powerful man of God. I'm here at the catacombs of St. Calisto, and we're about to go inside, but what we know is that there were over 300,000 Christians buried here. Many of them were martyrs. Uh, the remains are no longer there, but and supposedly there is like 22 ki kilometers underground of old uh, burial sites. So hopefully we can go in there. Uh, I don't think they allow pictures, but maybe we can dig up some uh, online and then show you. The back of me is a church of Gomene Quovadis, 
And this is the site where St. Peter, as he was leaving Rome to avoid being martyred, as he was walking, he saw Jesus. And when he saw Jesus, he said, Lord, where are you going? And Jesus said to be crucified again. And so Peter knew immediately that this was his calling, to die for love of Jesus Christ as a martyr. So it's here where he turned around and walked toward Rome again. We're at the Basilica of St. Paul outside the walls. And this is where St. Paul's body is laid. So Father, what do you know about it, man? Well, yeah, they built the Basilica over the tomb of St. Paul by Constantine. And then this church is really well known also for all the pictures, the roundels of all the popes. Yeah. So we're going to go inside. But just so you know, St. Paul is one of my favorite saints. I always quote him. He was a very powerful preacher wrote most of the New Testament, so let's go see. So right here is where St. Paul's body is laid. St. Paul, pray for us. I'm at an Italian restaurant near the Vatican. I'm gonna have some fettuccine bolognese. So before, bless us, O Lord, these are gifts about to receive from that bounty to Christ our Lord. Amen. Spaghetti in Italy. It's really good, pasta. This is excellent pasta with sauce, filled with flavor. The meat, really tasty. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Cheers. I have some Italian gelato right here. I've got coffee ice cream, biscotti, and dark chocolate. We're going to taste it right now with the dark chocolate. Excellent. Mm. Coffee. Wow, I taste coffee. Like drinking a cold cup of coffee. The biscotti. Mmm. Biscotti pieces in there. With vanilla. Chocolate sprinkles. It's great. Creamy. All around delicious. Cheers. We've made it at the Vatican. In back of me is St. Peter's Square, St. Peter's Basilica. We're gonna go inside, pray for you, show you around.
We are here in the Rome airport, about to go home. You excited? I'm ready. And Father Pasco <laughs> is gonna is back in Birmingham for for life now, I guess. <laughs> so, but we thank you for joining us. You know, for experiencing the, the history and beauty of, of the church here in the Vatican and Rome, in Italy and Assisi. And so know that you were in our prayers the whole time. We continue to pray for you. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell all your friends about this. Until next time, may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.